all yes mm -hmm. um i just wanted to uh make mention that um <laughs> That 14th Amendment where you said, well, my wife could say I was crazy. You don't have to protect my right to life, liberty, and property. I want my sons, do you understand? Mm -hmm. And for all of those that are not ordained, yeah, go to your place of religious instruction. Yes. But for every one of them that said, well, I want to be the pastor, you're going to have to give up your government job because you have the authority to deprive the United States of income. Pooh. Now, obviously, there's no religious test for any person that wants to run for office. Yes, yes, yes. You just can't be ordained to sign any tax deductible receipts. I'm so sorry, but when oaths don't support and defend the Constitution of the United States, I'm going to have to have some separation between the church and the state. Yes. So, um, this rule of law, yes, can take it away. Oh. Now, the Constitution provides a better way. See, I put my signature on this. Yes. And a, a sign here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, okay, poop, that uh, for all the ordained that said, well, I can work in government, no, you can't, pooch. You can decide to sign tax deductible receipts, poop. And for all of you that said, well, I'm going to provide, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to protect uh, those in the denomination. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. I actually am going to sue you for all your church property, Mormons, oops, Foursquare, ooh, Baptists, mm -hmm. and then any and all institutions that thought that they don't have to uh, report a child abuse, neglect, kidnapping. Now, it's difficult to overstate the significance of the founders' insights. Yes and accomplishments in framing our Constitution. Mm -hmm. Our Constitution was a singular victory for popular sovereignty in which we, the people, yeah, came together to ordain and establish a government that was accountable to law and democracy. <laughs> uh, that is why Arthur L. Goodhart, who held the Oxford Chair of Jurisprudence, yeah, between 1931 and 1951, described our Constitution as the most important single legal document in the history of the world. Poop. <laughs> now, for those that have constitutions, I've done some study about America's involvement in the making and support of constitutions of democracies throughout the world. Yes, I'd just like to know the ordained in your individual nation. <laughs> Well, just give me the world, okay? And each constitution that says they're democracy, yes. And then the actual charities that have a similar tax structure where you said, well, I'm Reverend so and so, and I'm the governor of XYZ Nation. Boom. Now, I'm going to sue all the nations of the world. <laughs> That thought, no, well, we can have Americans suffering the miscarriage of justice. <laughs> we can take their children from them without any due process to their actual parent. Yes. We can do it using forgeries and fraud. <laughs> we can send notices of government, um, well, arrestable government meetings. Yes, like failure to appear means we're going to issue... Ooch, a warrant for your arrest and we're going to send it to a place where the guy doesn't have to support the government doesn't have to make the government not send notices there boom, 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 boom. and then he can deprive the United States government of their taxation so just give me the actual constitutions of every democracy of the world yes, yes, yes. And those in the individual governments that are elected to office because of the United States Congress and the United States Constitution being that singular, yes, historic document that the founding fathers had decided to write for themselves. <laughs> because I'll tell you right now, if you live in a democracy anywhere in any nation of the world, and the United States contributed any money, yes, or volunteer time, to help you write your 